one. Ryan Corey is a nutrition guru with Hammer Nutrition. Now, Hammer is the official sponsor, the nutrition sponsor of Challenge Penticton for this first year in North America. What brought your company into this? Uh, you know, it was a, kind of a mutual building relationship. Um, I think Challenge was looking for someone more community-minded, uh, something that was clean nutrition, right? Healthy nutrition, not just a, a one-off product that was meant for one thing that got a bunch of money thrown at it. It was, let's look for um, you know, a business that's got a comprehensive line that meets all the needs of the endurance athlete. And like I said, is, is, is actually healthy for the athlete. It's not going to harm them over six plus hours, whatever it is, right? An iron distance event like this is really what your product, uh, I mean, your, build, your product is used for a number of different uh, purposes, but this is perfect, is it not? I mean, because you need fueling over whatever, eight hours. Yeah, you know, when, when I refer to healthy, you know, quite often uh, we're saying we're, we stay away from the simple sugar. So quite often uh, that's the main ingredient in some of the competitors' products that gives a very strong flavoring. Now, on the flip side, once you get into two hours, three hours, and beyond, those simple sugars are not very good in your system. You know, they quite often contribute to uh, the distress that a lot of athletes face. Um, so yeah, the Hammer Nutrition line is all geared towards endurance athletics, you know, whether it be triathlon or uh, you know, ultra running or anything of that nature. So how do you keep the athletes fueled up on the day? Today, race day, you've got this massive vehicle, the support vehicle. What? form does that take? you have people all over the course? Uh, we've got our U.S. team, our Canadian team. So our U.S. team came up from Whitefish, so nice and close. And all of our Canadian guys assembled. Uh, so we'll have products at all the aid stations, on the bike, on the run. Swim is the only one that um, you won't really see us at, but you know, you're, you're swimming, you don't need it. Well, on that note, what are the athletes fueling up with this type of product prior to the swim, or is it a breakfast of... I don't know, bacon and eggs, granola, I don't know, what, what do you think? Yeah, you know what, it's a personal thing, I, people can all tolerate different things. Um, generally the rule of thumb is try to not eat at least two hours, um, before, you know, yeah. the two hour window, so two to three hours before eating something. Um, usually it's you know, something like oatmeal, carbs. Like Four not, in the morning they're not eating bacon, bacon yeah, eggs. Yeah, <laughs> not a lot of like... Uh, Fiber, like keep it really simple, is essentially what it is. Um, so, oatmeal is very popular. And then, um, in that two, three hour window, as you're leading up, you're getting ready to transition, you're going down, you know, to the, the swim. Um, if you're feeling hungry at that point, supplement a little bit, like a little bit of gel or, you know, our electrolyte drink just to take care of the, the, the hunger uh, pains. Um, because Honestly, if you're eating well the night before, the three-hour window before, you'll have the onboard stored energy. You're just trying to take care of the, the hunger pains. And each individual is exactly that, an individual. So what their body needs, their body will tell them. And that's where products like this, some people might use more, some people might use less. It's really what, what their body's demanding of them. Yeah, and you know what? Ideally, it's something that they've worked out in their training a little bit. Um, you know, we'll, we'll have suggestions for people if they're on the fence, but, you know, we have come, people that come to us that have their own plans, and it might not necessarily be in line with what we'd normally suggest, but if it works for you, you know, don't change it last minute, just go with it. And, uh, you know, we've, we've heard a, a multitude of, of different ways to approach this. Um, the key is just to have practiced it in training, and we're there to support. Um, don't, what color would you like? You know, don't necessarily depend on us for everything. We'll have everything you need out on course, but ideally you've practiced before. Um, you've already got a plan to have all your stuff on the bike or the run, and we're more or less just complementing that process, helping you, because you can't carry everything like we talked about, right? It's just too long to do. Okay, and a final question for you then. You're an adventure cyclist, so mountain biking is really big here in the Okanagan Valley, and if people are out, let's say for a four or five hour mountain biking trip, should they have supplements like this with them? Yeah, in the, in the efforts of uh, usually anything under an hour, you can get away with a lot. You know, water, if any, especially in this area, water, water and some electrolytes. Once you get beyond that hour, you know, that's when you want to supplement in carbs. Three hours, that's when you want more of a comprehensive or complete calorie. So carbohydrates, protein, fat. 
Um, so we have lots of options, like we talked about. Um, and yeah, like we said, we're, we're not just catering towards triathletes, it's anyone and everyone. And my, my background for the last several years has been mountain biking, so I can definitely appreciate that. Give me a talk on it, actually, uh, on Saturday. So. Oh, awesome. And you've come from Burlington, Ontario, lots of mountain biking around there. <laughs> you know, I moved from Alberta, uh, so flying back and, you know, seeing the mountains. Uh, it was it was sad, but it was also nice to see the mountains again because there isn't much out my way. Sure. Well, if you have time, you might want to get on a mountain bike while you're here. Thanks for talking to us, Ryan. Yeah, no, thanks. Ryan Corey with Hammer Nutrition. Let's go back to race coverage now.